I appreciate you taking a little time with us here, and uh, here we are on game week. And first of all, congratulations. You are our Providence Heart Hammond Cowboys Player of the Week, along with your rising senior teammate, uh, Kevin Vaughn. And I think the really neat thing was you were selected by the coaches. Both of you were because of not just your play on the field in the preseason, but the way you have led your teammates. And I know that's something you take a lot of pride in. Talk to us a little bit about that. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, for us seniors, it's just about this is our year. Um, I've grown up through seventh grade playing football here at Hammond, been a part of the program forever. It feels like a lot of these guys have been around um, growing up watching this team and win championships. So now it's just about our year and taking responsibility and looking after these young guys, make sure they buy in and know what it what it means and what it takes to win games. Tell me something or tell me a couple things about uh, this group as a whole that, that you're talking about the younger guys, many of them who are playing varsity for the first time, but have been a part of the program just as you were when you came along. Uh, have you seen some good things? Yeah, there, there, are, there are some great guys, some great young guys we have. Um, a lot of them, you know, they give, they have great effort. They're willing to go play, make good plays. Um, some, they just have to adjust the game of varsity football and just the speed of that, but a lot of them, they know where they're going now. Now we're just about going out and executing. Tell me the feeling uh, as a senior and how it is different from when you're coming into, you're a four-year starter, by the way, so you've been a rising freshman, sophomore, and junior, but what's the biggest difference of being that rising senior out there on the practice field going into the season? Yeah, I mean, just as a senior, you you know a lot of what's going on. Um, Kimry, I mess with him all the time. You know, he'll call a wrong player, a wrong formation for a certain play that he wants. You know, I'll have to correct him. Ask, <laughs> you meant this, right? It's just I've I've just been here. I feel like forever now. Um, you just know as a senior everything that's going on. You little play a little faster, and these young guys they just have to learn. You know, pick up that mentality and you know, learn the game of football a little bit more. But they'll they'll be playing fast soon. All right, going into your fourth year of varsity, I'm doing the math here. 25 wins in a row right now is the current streak for the Skyhawks. Do you even remember? I'm sure you do, but what what was the last what was the last loss? Uh, the last one was ninth for you. It was my ninth grade year state championship versus Wilson Hall. That's the last one, and yes, and and obviously you don't want that uh feeling again no, no, no. uh what's it what's the feeling going in as one of the leaders not just a starter and, and obvious uh, a big time contributor but what's the feeling when you go in and you haven't lost in that long is it is it almost one of those deals where maybe not in a bad way but there's a certain pressure that you don't want to break that string um, I, don't, I don't know. Most of our seniors, we don't really see it as a big pressure thing that, uh -huh. you know, we need to go undefeated. It's, you know, we don't want to lose. I think it's more of a mentality and a confidence booster in a way. Not to say, because this team, we're 0-0 right now. We haven't proven anything. But, um, you know, we know that we have what it takes to win. We know our coaches have proven to us that they can put us in positions to win. Right. And so it's just it's knowing that that we we're able to go execute the game plan they give us and play and trust them to go out and win these games again. Now you made a big switch from you played wide receiver primarily the last three years and you're moving to the other side of the ball uh, to safety. Talk to me a little bit about that transition and tell me what you like about it the most. Yeah, um, most of this spring and summer just kind of been learning learning the defense and everything from a new position. Um, I, I love being over on defense, get to fly around a lot, make make more plays, and uh, play as a, a a part of a very fast and physical group that we that our defense is. And so, you know, it's it's a totally different feel to the game switching over. But um, you know, it's almost a new great refresher after three three years of varsity football, kind of play a different position. And, and after playing wide receiver for three years, does that give you, I would think it would give you a little extra edge making a position move like that because what the other team's receivers are doing, and I know that part of your job is to stop the run, but on passing downs, you might have a little extra insight on into like from formations and things like that where guys might be going? Yes, sir. I've, I've definitely, just through playing football with Kimberly and stuff, learned a bunch of you know, how receivers do and, you know, kinds of routes and stuff. And then switching over defense, you know, you know, a typical offense is going to do this in this situation. And, like, you know, your receivers, your routes kind of look like this. So it's definitely having that other mentality as a receiver and being able to apply that as a safety is very helpful. Just from preseason, whether it's scrimmages, whether it's uh, practice itself, but what so far has given you kind of a bigger rush getting a pick 
or delivering a big time hit? I don't know. I still, I think I, I always love getting some a little little big hit there. Um, I remember one game against uh, Ben Lip in the playoffs. Both DeAndre Smith and I had had two big hits on the one play, and that's still the play I remember from my mm-hmm. high school career so far. I love a headhunter, man. Yes, I love is. it. All right, uh, again, congratulations, Brad, uh, on being the Providence Heart Hammond Cowboys Player of the Week, along with your teammate Kevin Vaughn. And uh, I tell you what, I'm just like you are, looking forward to uh, seeing this edition of the Hammond Skyhawks this Friday out at Eden's Field, 730 kick. Congratulations, buddy, and have a great game. Thank you.